Uh, I'm going to continue on in Daniel chapter 8 about the ram and the he goat. And I think I'll stop in verse 12 or 13, but I'm going to go in verse 12 and say, And host was given him against the daily sacrifice by reason of transgression. And it cast down the truth. See, a host was given him against the daily sacrifice against the saints. In the New Testament, like I already tell you, the New Testament, the saints are the daily sacrifice. Because Daniel prophecy was for the future. You have to understand that. See, because Daniel was speaking of the end time. In the end time, we present our body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. This is our reasonable service. What it tell you in Romans chapter 12. See, see our host was given him against the daily sacrifice by reason of transgression, and it cast down the truth. See, the saints had the truth. Animals do not have truth. You have to understand that. Cast down the truth to the ground, and it practice and prosper. See, that's the Antichrist. Yeah. In Roman chapter 12, and turn there, Roman chapter 12. See, we present our body a living sacrifice. You know, this is what a lot of preachers don't tell people and preach to them. Romans chapter 12 and verse 1, it tells you. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, mercies of God, that ye present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. See, we present our body a living sacrifice daily. And it's like they're coming against the saints now. See, they're going to come against the saints and they're like saying, say, homosexual is wrong, or, uh, abortion is wrong, and all that stuff. You know, and they will come against you. They're going to want to kill you. As time goes on, it could get worse and worse. You know, because a lot of people be doing bad things like they're doing now. You know, killing people because of their race and all that stuff, see, and they will come against you, you know, they will come against all the saints, because the saints will be teaching God's word, be telling the truth about hell, a lot of things that ordinary people do not understand, because they don't look for the future, they think about now, just like the average woman, they think about now, they don't think ahead, you know, Bible prophecy is always be for the future. And it come to pass. You know, it's like I was telling you that the world will be filled with violence. Like Jesus Christ said, the world will be filled with violence. Like in the days of Noah. You know, he said it will be like in the days of Noah. When you go back in the days of Noah, the world will fill with violence and corruption. See, that's what we see in that. People killing people for nothing. See. Some of them just because of their race, you know, all that, you know, because they're taking the power away from men. See, the white man ain't going to have no more authority in this country after a while. See, because they want to make a one world government, one world order. That's why they're putting women in charge. A lot of people do not understand that, even though you tell them. They can't understand that because they don't believe in the word of God. You know, God said women will rule over us. And then that rule over us will cause us to destroy the way of that path. I mean, it causes us to be destroyed. You go in another place, it causes us to be destroyed. The leader of thy people. See, you have to understand that. This is what is happening now. Satan always do the opposite of what God want. See, God said man is the head, supposed to be the head of the wife. But the, Satan will say, no, you're not the head of me. Not the head of the wife. He's not the head of the wife. You know, we're both equal. And that's cause this problem. It lead to violence. And while the Bible said the world will be filled with violence and corruption. That's happening all around the world. This not in just in the US. It's everywhere. They're taking all authority away from men. And giving it to women. And women are rules so they can bring in that new world order. One world government. 
even though you tell people that they still don't understand because they only think about now. They don't look for the future. You know. But that's just how it is. Like I said, we present our body a living sacrifice. So your body so your body be on the line every day, daily. See so like by Jesus Christ tell you what's gonna happen to you, like in Mark chapter 13, same thing as in Matthew chapter 24. In Mark chapter 13, uh, let me see what verse, Mark chapter 13, like in uh, verse 12. It said, now, now the brethren shall betray the brother, the brother to death, and the father, the son, and the children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. See what the Bible said? And people don't believe it. All this for the future. That's things that's starting to happen now, right here in America. See, because like I said, they done fell away from God. The children will rise up against them, cause them to be put to death. But like I said, we, we present our body a living sacrifice. You see, and a host was given him against the daily sacrifice. So we turn to Daniel chapter 11, verse 21, uh, 31. I tell you, it said, An arm shall stand on his part. He's talking about the Antichrist. And they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength and shall take away the daily sacrifice. And they shall place the abomination that make it desolate. See, when they're going to be taking away the daily sacrifice, when they're going to kill the two witnesses, they're going to be killing the saints. You know, in Jerusalem. They're going to shed blood all around Jerusalem. And Jerusalem will go into captivity. When they kill the two witnesses, then they're going to set up the abomination, make it desolate, and Jerusalem will go into captivity. There's going to be war in Jerusalem. But they're going to be overtaken by the Antichrist in his army. Jerusalem will go into captivity. And you see, the, the two witnesses going to be there. They're going to kill the two witnesses. And then, they, and then they're going to set up the abomination and make a desert. And Jerusalem is going to go into captivity for three and a half years. You know, Then at the end of the three and a half years, and then they're going to go get all nation again. See, at first, in the first three and a half years, you're going to get all nation against Jerusalem. Jerusalem going to be taken over and go into captivity into all nation. Then at the end of the three and a half years, then it's going to be the God going to get all nation again, you know, for the battle of Armageddon. See, that's what a lot of preachers do not understand, a lot of prophets. You know, in fact, when they get all nation against Jerusalem, that's going to be the end time. No, it's not going to be the end time. We have three and a half years left. All right, let me get back to Daniel chapter uh, 13, I mean 8 and 13. Then I heard one saint speak, uh, speaking, and I heard one saint speaking, and another saint say unto that certain saint which spake how long shall be the vision concerning the daily sacrifice and the transgression of desolation to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden under foot see that certain saints you know with Jesus Christ and the other saints ask you know the Lord how long will it going to be you know, for the host to be trodden on the foot, foot. See, see, in the answer, and like in verse fourteen, and said, he said unto me, unto uh, two thousand and three hundred days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. See, see, everything is polluted now. Just like now, the churches are polluted with. Same sex marriage, homosexuality, women preachers, and all that. Women call themselves prophet, women call themselves bishop. All the church is polluted. You know? That's why men don't even go to church. You can't find men hardly in no church. Only a few men be in this church. All the whole church is nothing but women in there now. So you just pay attention. 
They didn't know the church is polluted. That's why they don't even go no more. All right, back to uh, Daniel and verse uh, 15. And it said, uh, And it came to pass when I, even I, Daniel, had seen the vision and sought for the meaning. Then behold, there stood before me as the appearance of a man. And I heard a man's voice between the banks of Eulala, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. See, so he called to Gabriel to make the man understand, Daniel to understand the vision. So he came near where I stood. And when he came, I was afraid and fell upon my face. But he said unto me, Understand, O son of man, for at the time of the end shall be the vision. See, at the time of the end shall be the vision. Now go, now as he was speaking with me, I was in a deep sleep on my face toward the ground. But he touched me and set me upright. And he said, Behold, I will make thee know what shall be in the, in the last end of the indignation. For at the time appointed, the end shall be. See, see, like I said, it's starting now at the end time. So it's starting for like from nine and never. It's dealing with the first beast in the United States, you know, Britain and then Russia. See, Russia came in, the United States came in, starting like from when the tw Twin Towers came down, like 2001. See, the United States, you know, in Britain, you had an eagle wing. First, it was like a lion had eagle wing. Then 2008, I believe, Russia came in 2008 when he took Georgia, a part of Georgia, 20%. It was the second beast. See. All right. In San Verso, uh, uh, the time, he said, the time upon it, the end shall be. In verse 20 say, The ram which thou sawest, and having two horns, are the king of Media and Persia. That's a rock and a ram. Media and Persia is a rock and a ram. You can look up what it, uh, Media, uh, Persia is. Persia is a ram. In 1935, Persia became a ram. See, so you can look it up in the dictionary, it will tell you. And verse 21 said, And the rough goat is the king of Grecia, and, and the great horn that is between his eyes is the first king. See, like Bush was the first king. See, I mean, you have more king coming. See, they thought Bush was going to want to, to fight because uh, Bush fought uh, uh, Iran, Iraq. They thought Bush was going to fight Iran too. Well, not so because he just the Bible said he got to pay attention to God's word said he was the first king and letting you know they had more than one king See, the verse 22 says now that being broken whereas four stood up for its four kingdoms see see when the, when the United States home be broken the third beast will come in the third beast to have four heads, to have four kingdoms. See, you can go back in Daniel chapter 7 and verse uh, verse 6. See, after the New United States horn be broken. After they fight a reign, they got de they got defeat a reign. And then the Bible said his horn gonna be broken. You gotta break a reign horn. Because a rock horn is already broken. In verse 6 it says that when the third beast come in. And say, after this I'll be healed. And lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it 
four wings of a fowl. The beast had also four heads. You see, it's four kingdoms, four rulers. It was uh, like China, Russia, and Britain, and the Vatican was in there. And dominion was given to it. You see, like dominion authority, you know, rulership was given to it. It's, uh, and back to verse 22 of Daniel 8 and 22. It said, Now that's being broken, whereas four stood up for his four kingdoms. See, it was four kingdoms, it was four heads. See, and shall stand up out of the nation. Shall, shall stand up out of the nation, out of the United Nations. But not in his power, not in the U.S. power. They can stand up out of the United Nations because they're all those. Those kingdoms now they into the United China into the United Nations, Russia is into the United Nations, the Vatican is into the United Nations, Britain is into the United Nations. See? So four of them will stand up for their kingdom. See? It's a four stood up for its four kingdom, you see. See? Four of them stood up and shall stand up out of the nation, but not in his power, see, not in the U.S. power, see, because the U.S. home will be broken, because the nation won't flow with the United States no more once they fight a rain. You see, like Turkey pulling out and going with Russia, they're going to go to us. A lot of those nations going to go to other nations. They ain't going to flow with, they ain't going to want nothing to do with the U.S. no more, see. The U.S. got a lot of correlation now with, like, a, a lot of allied coalition. Even Britain ain't gonna be with probably with the US no more. See, y'all gonna split up, go their own way, and go into other leaders. See, that's what it means by his home being broken. You gotta have no more authority over the world no more. You know? All right, and verse 23 says, In the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressor, you see, we tell you right here, that's me, the, those four of them will rule a while. See, and a lot of people think, you know, a lot of prophets and preachers be thinking, see, after the United States home be broken, they think it's going to be the end time, that the Antichrist will come in, right? That's not so. You have to understand God's so that's why you have to read it, like I said, for yourself. Stop listening to these false prophets, false preachers. So in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors, transgressors all come to the fool, see, the transgressors all come to the fool, a king of fierce continent, that's the Antichrist, see, and understanding dark sentence shall stand up, see, you see, because you'll go back in Daniel 8 and verse, uh, verse 9, you see, in Daniel 8, it said, Therefore the ego waxed great, and when he was strong, the great home was broken. You see, and for it came up four notable ones toward the four winds of heaven. See, that's the third beast. But it beats that four head. And the third beast, like he's telling you, if they will rule a while, in the latter time of that kingdom, the king of fierce continent. You see, he tell you in verse 9, he said, Out of one of them, and see, out of one of them came for a little horn. A little horn is the false prophet, the Antichrist from the Vatican. And then whack exceedingly great toward the south and toward the east and toward the pleasant land. It's Israel. See, a lot of time of that kingdom, then the Antichrist are coming. But the ten horn will come first. That's why you have to read all of God's word. See. He will come out from them three who he was with. See? Then he will get with them ten horn, them ten king, when the ten king showed up. You can read like in Daniel verse uh, 20. Daniel 8 and, and, and uh, let me see, Daniel 7 and 20. Daniel 7 and 20, it says, And of the ten horn that were in his head, and of the other which came up and before whom three fell even of that horn had eyes and a mouth spake very great things 
whose looks were more stout than these fellows, you see. They were three fell, see. See, when the, when the ten horn showed up, he plucked up the way, he got with the, he came out from the third beast. Third beast had four heads. He was one of the beasts in the third beast. And he got with the ten king when the ten king showed up. That false prophet. See, verse 24, it says the same thing. It says, and the ten horn out of this kingdom are ten king that shall arise. See, the ten king will arise for it, and another shall ar arise after them. See, the false prophet arise after them. See, the ten horn always shows first because the, the, the false prophet was already among the third beast. The overlap, the third beast was still in when the ten king showed up, developed. See, then after the false prophet got out from the third beast, and he got with the ten king when they showed up. See? And he plucked up those three beasts who he was within the third beast, that false prophet. He plucked them up. He subdued them. See, the Bible said right here, he, 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 he subdued them. He said, the ten horn out of this kingdom are ten king that shall arise, and another shall arise after them, and he shall be diverse from the first, and he shall subdue three kings, see? Subdue the three kings, and verse 20 said the same thing. And of the ten horns that are in his head, and of the other which came up, and before whom three fell, see? He said three fell, it's the same thing. Now you go down to Daniel 7 and, and 7, say the same thing. The ten horns showed up for it. It said, uh, verse 7, said Daniel 7 and 7. Say after this I saw in the night vision and behold a fourth beast dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly and it had great iron teeth and devoured and break in pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it and it was diverged from all the beasts that were before it and it had ten horns see the ten horns showed up now in verse eight gonna tell you what happened. He's saying, I considered the horn, there was ten kings. And behold, there came up among them another little horn. See, that was the false prophet. He came from the third beast. See, another little horn. See, the father, ten horns showed up first. Then he, he got out from the third beast and got with the ten horn, the ten king. See, another little horn before whom there were three of the first horn horns with an S on it. There was those three horn horns plucked up by the roots. See, they were plucked up and then in verse twenty it said three fell. In verse twenty four it said uh, he subdued three kings. It's the same thing. But by the way speak of it in different ways. You know, so a lot of people get lost and get confused. You know, he talked about this like he talked about something in Matthew, then he talked about something in, in Matthew chapter 24. He talked about something, then he go to uh, Mark chapter 13. All this talking about the same thing at the end time. See, something that it didn't say in, in, in Matthew, it may say it in Mark chapter 13 or in Luke chapter 21. All these is talking about the end time. What Jesus Christ talked about, you see. That's why a lot of people get confused, but he's talking about the same thing right here. That's what I'm trying to show y'all. But I'm going to get back and go over that, like, and uh, starting again, maybe around verse 22 or 23. But this is all I'm going to say for you today. But may God bless y'all. Have y'all have wisdom? God give y'all wisdom and knowledge and understanding of His Word. Read God's Word, read it carefully and slowly, and look at it. What I am, what I'm, what I am telling you. You know what I'm saying. You have to look at it very carefully and read it and get an understanding for yourself. You can come to the same conclusion. What I'm saying now. You know, read God's Word for yourself. You know, and stop this listening to these probably it's okay to listen to them but 
check them out what they are saying. If it's not loud enough with God's word, I mean, it's something wrong. Everything won't fall, and you won't have the complete understanding. You have to change everything around. You know. So if if everything is right, it'll come out clearly. You you can see. You know, just like about marriage, anything we talked about about rape, how everything will come out clearly. You will understand it. But thank y'all and may God bless y'all and give y'all wisdom and knowledge and understanding of his word.